hey what's up guys this is kd cloudy and yes true i haven't been making a whole lot of custom rom videos lately simply because i wanted to diversify the content which i upload but more importantly there haven't been any roms which were worth checking out after the unlegacy android project which we covered a couple of months ago but then i came across this rom the first ever android 8.1 project which is a sort of a misnomer in its name but after using it i can tell this is easily one of the best experiences i've had in a while on my nexus 5 okay so huge shout out to the developer marcin griciel i'm sorry if i didn't pronounce that right who's been developing and teasing this since october despite getting a lot of hate for promising such unbelievable features before it was even out and boy has it lived up to its expectations but yeah before going in the installation process is sort of different and unconventional for this rom like instead of downloading a 400 megabyte zip this rom comes packed in a 1.2 gigabyte rar package and before proceeding just take a backup of your existing rom using twop and that will create a twop backup folder and here you have to extract the first ever files into the twop backup folder with your phone id hopefully that's clear and then just boot into twrp recovery restore this package and boom you're done that's it you don't need to worry about gapps and everything because all that stuff is baked right in so that's neat and yeah once the boot up sequence is done which i might tell you is actually really fast you are greeted with a full google s experience for android 8.1 oreo exactly like the pixel 2 all the great features from android 8.1 are present like notification dots color coded media controls a light theme notification shade on light wallpaper a dark theme notification shade on a dark wallpaper all of the great stuff and oh how could we forget that sweet oreo easter egg absolutely love it but yeah if you want to know more about the features feel free to check my android 8.1 walkthrough video which i did on my pixel same exact stuff but yeah past all that stock stuff the rom has its own tricks up its sleeve like all the pixel 2 features i talked about the pixel launcher live wallpapers the new camera app with the broken hdr plus no surprises uh and also a system wide product sans font which is the same font used in the google logo really need google assistant in all its glory with google lens in the google photos app and speaking of google photos you get unlimited backup storage of all your photos so that's really really nice and guess what it comes built in with the runroot corners app so that's really nice again and just to add an icing to the cake it ships with magisk out of the box i'll say that again it ships with magisk out of the box for instant routing and i mean that's really really surprising for this rom considering that not a lot of roms come with that including lineage os but yeah just so you know it bypasses the safety net checks and works flawlessly with apps like netflix and even android pay which comes pre-installed with this rom so if you ask me it's pretty damn impressive now let's get to the actual stuff the battery life and performance now performance is well pretty average at best uh, pretty slow and un- unresponsive at times really quick and really snappy at some other times and i wouldn't really expect a whole lot from an unfinished build running on a 5 year old phone so considering all that it's you know pretty good and battery life also again pretty average uh, don't really expect this rom to extend your battery span in a crazy way i got about 2 hours to 2 and a half hours of screen on time at best standby times were actually really good and yeah if you want to squeeze out more battery try putting a new battery or changing the kernel and stuff or turn off location tracking by google play services stuff like that could probably help in improving battery life so overall i'd say i have been really happy with this rom no complaints at all so far except that it ships with four bloatware apps which can be uninstalled so no big deal and no bugs as such but yeah this rom is flawless for the most part and has gotten me to use the next 5 more than i want to and i can't really tell the difference when i'm off my pixel and on my next 5 the user experience is so damn good But yeah, bottom line, I really recommend you to check this ROM out and use it until Lineage OS and Dark ROM come out. By the way, Dark ROM comes out really soon. I've talked to Dark ROM's developer for exclusive coverage on this channel, so make sure you subscribe to watch that. But yeah, till then, first ever Android ROM, 
gets the crown for the best custom rom for the next five so far in 2018 thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers